Welcome to the fourth episode of the Rapid Disk Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to cover a couple of advanced topics uh, to manage the uh, kernel binary, the primary kernel uh, module uh, from user space in the form of IOCTLs or SysFS entry points into the, uh, the, the module. So first things first, the SysFS management portion be found in the sys kernel rapid disk directory. As you can see here, there are two files. These files are part of the module. They're populated in the subdirectory as soon as the module is inserted. Uh, they can be, both of them can be read from, but the management one can be written to. So if you at the MGMT or management one, you get a general summary of the module with the module parameters that are defined during module insertion. If you do a cat of the devices, it'll give you a summary of the devices that are attached, but because we don't have anything attached yet, there's nothing there. So let's start by um, <clears throat> inserting a, a block device. So rapid disk attach block device number, so in this case, RD0, and we're going to do 8K. If you do a cat on the devices, here you go. We have RD0, that's 8K. If we want to resize this, Now it's at 64K. What if we want to remove it? Oops. Now it's gone. So let's reattach the device. I mean, this is pretty much it when it comes to managing it from SysFS. <clears throat> I'm going to the source of the uh, rapid disk uh, project. In that source, are, there's a subdirectory called uh, test. And in that test directory, there's a file specifically called rx uh, iocontrol.c. And it provides actually a pretty good example of how to send uh, ioctals to the uh, to the block device. In this case, uh, we are trying to get the latest logical block or you know written to on the block device. And in this one, we are getting a total page count of the block device. How many you know uh, memory pages are allocated for it? In the in the project wiki, if you go into miscellaneous. You get a summary of all the ioctals that are officially supported, uh, you know, with among other uh, details. So let's run this utility and see what we get. Oops. Okay, so the maximum sector that's allocated is zero the maximum number of pages allocated is zero. So let's write some data. Uh, okay, so we're gonna write 4K once. Oops. Now if we rerun the IOCTO, it'll say that the maximum sector, remember 512 byte sectors has been allocated. So maximum sector is eight and only one memory page has been allocated. Um, and that pretty much sums it up. Pretty straightforward. <clears throat> 